Welcome to Royal Secrets. Queen announces very saddening news while continuing to work despite health challenges. But before we continue please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for updates. The Queen made a somber announcement from her home in Scotland. Her Majesty conveyed her sorrow over the terrible floods that have been wreaking havoc on Pakistan since June in a brief statement to President Arif Alvi. The message began, I am profoundly grieved to learn of the awful loss of life and destruction caused by the floods across Pakistan and was signed off by the Queen as Elizabeth R. All individuals who have been impacted as well as those battling adversity to aid in the recovery efforts are in my thoughts. Pakistan is supported by the United Kingdom as you move past these horrible occurrences. According to the National Disaster Management Authority of Pakistan, the number of fatalities brought on by the monsoon rains that have been battering the country since June has risen to more than 1,000, with 119 deaths occurring just in the past day. At least 700,000 homes have been devastated by the floods, leaving thousands of people without a place to live. The Queen's moving letter demonstrates that, despite recent reports raising doubts about her health, the 96-year-old still fulfills her daily obligations as the head of state. The monarch hasn't been spotted in the open since late July, when she left for Scotland to start her summer sojourn up north. On August 9, the Queen moved into Balmoral Castle after staying at Craigowen Lodge. She did, however, participate in the customary welcome ceremony behind closed doors for her comfort, according to Buckingham Palace. The royal continues to perform her everyday tasks, as seen by the remark to Mr. Alvey, even though the summer visit to Balmoral is typically thought of as a more laid-back period for the head of state. Her daily tasks include dealing with the government's red boxes, which contain essential documents that she must review and approve. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, Prince Andrew, Prince Edward, and Lady Louise Windsor have all paid the Queen a visit since her arrival in Scotland. Prince Charles is presently residing in Burkle, Scotland, and is rumored to see his mother on a regular basis. However, royal commentator Ingrid Seward has called the frequency of their meetings very unusual. It's quite unusual for Prince Charles to make these kinds of unscheduled visits to see his mother, she said last week in an interview with The Sun. But Charles is an extremely intelligent person, and now that Prince Philip is gone, who else can she trust? Everyone believes they see each other frequently, but this is not the case. Due to the geographic dispersion of everyone in the nation, they frequently blame geography. The monarch, who has experienced sporadic mobility issues since the fall, was expected to break up her summer vacation at Balmoral, which typically ends in early October, next week to make a round trip to London or Windsor, where she would have requested the Tories' candidate for leadership to form a new government. But this week, a source allegedly said the monarch had been told not to travel, which led to worries that her health had gotten worse. Instead of meeting the Queen at one of her residences in England, the next Prime Minister Boris Johnson and the contest winner, who will be announced on September 15, are now anticipated to fly to Scotland. After claiming to support the Queen, Meghan and Prince Harry are creating headaches for the royal family. Even after pledging to continue to completely support the Queen, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are creating challenges for the royal family, a royal expert warned. In 2020, Prince Harry and Meghan left their positions as senior working royals. The couple said in their official statement announcing their choice that they will still completely support Her Majesty the Queen in spite of their departure. Neil Sean, a royal expert, asserted in a recent video on his YouTube channel that despite this commitment, the Sussexes have been creating headaches for the royals, especially during their extremely busy royal week. Mr. Sean specifically mentions the timing of the couple when announcing projects and planned trips. This would typically be a very busy royal week, according to Mr. Sean. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for updates.